Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss a new video or a live stream and give me a big thumbs up at the end of the video. welcome back to my channel it is me it is her it is she it is I. <laughs> I'm feeling real silly today it's your girl Chakisha from her lovely plan and I'm here with another planner related video and this is my second week in my new a5 travelers notebook um, you know just kind of giving you guys a little briefing about me switching over for those that may not have saw my first video. Um, but I started with a standard size traveler's notebook, fell in love with the whole system and how you can be creative. Um, and then I went and got a B6 that I used for my social media and YouTube planner. So started looking at some more videos. You know how those videos do y'all. Cause y'all done told me before they be enabling y'all and making y'all do this and making y'all do that. <laughs> so I was, I fell victim, started watching them. And then, um, one of my planner besties slash little sis, E. Michelle, she posted her little A5 and such. She the one that got me in trouble with the B6 for real. If y'all really want to be real, but that's a whole nother story. I might share that on my Sunday live, but anyway, so I saw her A5, fell in love with it, um, in which I know a lot of people say it's too big, but if you're already in a standard size traveler's notebook, um, only difference is it's a little bit wider. And just to show you the difference, um, here's baby in which I'm not using her right now, but the great thing about traveler's notebooks is the fact that you can always switch your inserts and you can always you know, go back and forth in between. You're not stuck with just this one planner, this one layout kind of thing. So as you can see, um, it is the same height, just in width, it's a little bit wider. So it still looks cute in your hand. I know a lot of people are like, oh, I like the way I look at my hand. Like it still looks really, really cute in your hand when you hold it. It's not too, you know, but it's whatever. I mean, I think because it's, I don't know y'all know I was a mini girl many 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 all last year and this is still small to me it's still way smaller than a classic happy planner um, but of course it is a little bit bigger than a mini but nevertheless I am in this and I am loving it I so wish that I knew about travelers notebooks in 2018 when I jumped in the planner game but Nevertheless, I'm glad about the journey. I'm glad about the experience because one thing about my channel, my channel is literally to show y'all the things, give y'all the information, let y'all see what's different out there, show you different planner styles and let you decide what works best for you. I'm not making anybody spend no money. <laughs> and I know I keep saying that because I, you know, I don't want anybody to feel like because I got the things you got to get the things, but because I am out here on this platform, it's my responsibility to show you the different things that are out there and it is up to you at that point whether or not you want to get it. But with all of that being said, I'm not going to talk your head off. I want to go ahead and show you my setup from last week and the after the pin and then we'll get straight into what I'll be using for this week's layout this is last week this was um february the 4th through the 9th and i really loved how i was able to function in this and what i am learning the fun thing about a traveler's notebook it's not really technically designed to have a whole lot of white space it's more so well put it this way for the decorative functional planners because traveler's notebooks have a lot of different ways to use them but in the decorative sense me personally, I feel like it's not designed to have a whole lot of white space. I think it's designed for you to use a lot of decorative type of stickers, washi and things like that. And then to fill in what you need to do for that week um, throughout the spread. Um, so the main focus, in my opinion, is the, the beauty, not the pen. <laughs> 
<laughs> so um but even with that being said i got a lot of stuff accomplished i am a day-to-day -day planner i normally have um in a notepad the stuff that i need to do but i typically don't write things in until i complete them or as you can see the to-do list part i do put my to-do list for the things that i know i have to do but things that are depending on if i get out of the house the post office might go on monday or might go on tuesday but it won't go in there until i know that's the day i'm gonna do it but even with all that being said um i love how this planner works like i'm in love for real like i know people go back and forth with planner peace planner unrest and all that stuff and i think it's fun especially being a content creator or youtuber i think it's fun to experiment with different things i mean i really do but i really think like i don't think i know that i have planner peace 100 percent um but i do still plan on bringing you all happy planner videos so don't think that i've went astray um but i definitely love these planners so we're gonna go ahead and get started for next well for this week which is the um 11th through the 17th and of course that is valentine's week so i'm excited to show you the type of well the kit that i'll be using for this week so this week i am using my um valentine's kit from shop lca in which i did do an unboxing or a happy mail haul um when i got my mail from um shop lca which the owner is um tiffany and it's this diva got a plan on instagram well her is <laughs> this diva got a plan on instagram but um this kit you could actually probably use this in multiple planners um, but I'm going to try to use the bulk of it in my A5 this week. Um, I don't really have a lot of plans, um, so I can really get down with the get down with laying these stickers. Uh, also, y'all know I am her official PR girl, one of three. Um, and y'all know I love three, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, the Trinity. Yes, three, three, three three <laughs> so yeah so i'm going to use this kit and i'm going to do something a little different i'm not going to use simply gilded i'm going to use these washies in which don't even ask me where i got them from i got them from different places so we're going to get jumping right into this week's plan with me using this beautiful happy valentine's day kit from shop lca don't forget to use my code for 10 percent no 20 percent off ten dollars or more and that's 20 her lovely in all caps So you guys, it used to be a time where I could not stand redating and even just, I even used to refuse to even get an undated planner because I was just like, it was too much work. But one thing about these traveler's notebook inserts, even though you can get some of them dated, I really don't mind doing the extra work. And I think just because of these kits, they give you a variety of date covers and date dots and things um, so you can definitely customize them a lot differently than your standard planners in my opinion um, and then also it's just something about it makes me feel more crafty to just you know go through and wipe this stuff off um, I don't know but 
question while I'm talking about that, if you all know of any downloadable inserts that are blank that do not even have the day on there, let me know because again, nine times out of 10, I don't even use the actual days of the week that they put on their planners. I typically just white it out put the date covers on there along with the date dots. Um, so I would love to know if they have any printables that are just blank. It just have the boxes um, and then I can do the rest of the work. So drop me a comment below with the link to any websites or Etsy shops that has um, blank um, weekly inserts. And I apologize for shaking the camera. I don't know what I was doing, but yeah, hit your girl up. So as y'all know, this is my A5 planner and this is an A5 weeks insert. So the boxes are a little bigger than the actual box stickers that I'm using. Now, if you're anything like me, it doesn't bother you because you can definitely use your creative um, genius and fill in those gaps with washi or other stickers or even use those spaces to write in things that you need to do so don't be afraid to use kits that are too small in your planners because again with travis notebooks i feel like it is made to bring out the creative the crafty side of you so when you get those kits and you're like oh my gosh the stickers are too small or even if the stickers are too big you can make it work. Try it. Trust me, it'll work. So like I was saying earlier, what to do with the extra space and why not choose your washi strips? Do something different. Washi does not always have to be laid vertically, um, excuse me, horizontally. You can put it however you want, whether it's vertically, horizontally, sideways, however you want to put it, use it. And I think laying this washi strip right here on the side along with this washi tape gave it an extra element of creativity, in my opinion. But you guys, let me know. I love your opinions. Let me know what you think about doing the washi vertically.
So usually I staple my inserts so they won't be falling apart. Um, but this was just a four week insert and I knew that I would be storing it after this month so I didn't do that. Um, so just to let you know, you don't have to go out and buy a long arm stapler or do any stitching. You can still plan and insert this in your planners without having the staples because the elastic band keeps it together. Okay, you guys, so I am finished my spread, and there's a couple of things that I forgot to add on here. I do have a nail and a hair appointment on Monday in which I put the flag there to remind me, but I want to use um, possibly an icon sticker. Um, I just need to go through my stickers to see which ones match better. Um, so until then, it's going to just be like this. Um, but you guys know I always just do my videos on before the pins. You don't really normally see the aftermath until after the fact. Um, but, you know, as I stated throughout the video, um, it's Love Week. And this kit is a full display of love everything is love <laughs> love is here love is there love is there love 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 <laughs> i know y'all be like you are too old to be goofy but that's what keeps me young you guys because i like to laugh and all that good stuff so um this is it it's really self-explanatory um really functional kit as you can see i have plenty of stickers still left in which I need to figure out what I'm going to use it in. Um, I might use this. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But I do want to use these. If not, I'll just store it away. Because I like to, you know, it's always next year. Or for my anniversary. Or whatever. Whatever. Um, but, yes, yeah, so I used her kit. And then I did pull in some smaller elements. Um, as y'all know, I love my Scribble Prince Co. bow. Um overlays and these are in gold foiling and then for my task icons for don't forget to do and things like that i use these from sweet caresses sweet caress and this one right here actually came from let me see i pulled it out so fast and then i put it back let's see where that one came from 
Yeah, that one also came from Sweet Caress. That was her um, holiday um, sticker sheet. So this is my spread. I hope you guys like it. Um, you already know the drill, but for all my newbies, if you don't, make sure you give me a big old thumbs up. Drop me a comment below if you like this video and just to keep inspiring me. Um, and if you have any suggestions or you want to see me plan in my A5 in a different way, I'm always open to suggestions as well. If you haven't done so by this time in the video, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a new video such as this <laughs> or a live stream which i do live streams every sunday not unless i'm out of town or i'm sick or whatever the case may be but you want to make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss anything and as well please go through the description box it's loads of stuff in there i know it looks like a bunch of words and if you're anything like me sometimes i'll be like i don't feel like reading all this stuff but i have discounts co discount codes i have the discount code for this um shop where i got this kit from um i got discount codes for um villa beautiful blah, blah, blah. <laughs> villa beautiful i got discount codes for simply gilded like Y'all can't say that I ain't trying to save y'all money. I know I be like enabling y'all. So through my enabling, I at least try to give y'all a little bit of discounts or something to help y'all out. Um, but with that being said, I really hope you all have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Whether you are loving on yourself or loving with on someone else. Or whether or not you are continuing to let God love on you through the reading plan that myself and Lisa Mack from Planning and Praying are doing. Um, and before I go, I just got to let you see the foiling. Look at the foil. And even look at like, look at these gold foil on this washing. Anyway, I digress. The video's over. <laughs> so yeah, guys. So if you like this, um, yeah, just make sure you give me a thumbs up just to let me know you are still rolling with your girl. So if this spread has blessed your soul and made you excited about love week, Make sure you also share this with your planner friends so they can feel the love and also be inspired to create their own lovely plan. So until next time, planner fam, peace. Thank you again for watching Her Lovely Plan. And I hope that you click that subscribe button and that notification bell.